Hello, everybody. So today I want to briefly discuss Celsius Holdings and asking the question, should I buy the stock? Should I get back in? Because this is a stock that I used to own. It ran up and I sold it for a profit because I thought it was getting a little expensive, even for even for my taste. And, you know, I, I, I tend to have a pretty high tolerance for expensive stocks. And I, fa- I found it was very expensive, even for me. But right now, when I look at the stock, I, I, I find it not as expensive as it used to be. Uh, given that we've had a run in so many other companies, and, and actually Celsius is one of the companies who's uh, down from the levels of, of August. Uh, in fact, the, the stock has gone largely nowhere over the past six months. It still has a very strong short ratio, and I think it's a stock that's uh, largely um, not understood outside of the United States. Uh, but if you live in the U.S., you probably uh, know a lot about Celsius because it's everywhere. You can't go to a grocery store, you, you, you can't go to a convenience store, Nowhere can you go without f- finding and seeing Celsius everywhere and, and, and getting sold. And really, in my in my view, from what I see, more people pick up Celsius holdings than, say, a Monster Beverage or a Red Bull. And, and, and this is, of course... Um, not 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 evidence but this is this is this is what this is what i see right this is anecdotal evidence but i see a lot of anecdotes uh, seeing that the consumer is all about celsius uh, in the us and it's one of these rare stocks and i have my evaluation spreadsheet here it's one of these rare stocks that's a rule of 90 it's very rare for a stock to achieve or achieve a rule of 90. And how do you calculate a, a rule of 40? Uh, and a rule of 40 is really the calculation. It's, it comes from the SAS world when it tells you that if you add margins to revenue growth, to long-term revenue growth, and you add both of them, you should get more than 40. And if you get more than 40, it's an interesting stock to invest in. Well, guess what? Celsius has a rule of 90. It's got an EBITDA margin of 16%. The beverage business is profitable early. Uh, it's uh, you know it's rare for a company growing um, at seventy nine percent to already be profitable. They're already they're already profitable, um, and they're growing at seventy nine percent. So if you had seventy nine to sixteen, you get a ninety five. So you have a, you have a stock that's above a rule of ninety. They're growing, predicted to grow their sales next twelve months at seventy nine percent, and their profitability is sixteen percent. So so. This is this is an amazing amazing numbers, and the question then comes is 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 this stock overvalued? Right, that's a big question. Well, actually, if I use my my my, my favorite metric, which is enterprise value over revenue growth, over um uh, over gross profit over revenue growth, you know, so EV over GP over RG, if I use my metric, I get a zero point two nine. So not 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 the, the cheapest cheapest of all stocks that I cover on the channel, but but in the top tier cheapest stock on the cha- channel, definitely in in the top thirty three percent at a zero point two nine, and it, w- it 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 wouldn't take much of a drop in the stock price of Celsius to be in the first quartile of of lower valued stocks in my spreadsheet at a, at a 0.29 right tesla is close to a 1 on this metric this is this is 0, 0.29 so that, that's pretty cheap and if you look at at uh, enterprise value over trailing 12 month revenue it's an 11 it may seem a little steep but i think it's important to put this into perspective they're going to grow 79% of their revenue over the next 12 months therefore if i do enterprise value over forward revenue i am getting based on seeking alpha's number a 9.7x um, and that's still steep it may seem that it's expensive but uh, if if you look if you look if you look at monster monster is trading at 8 times but but of course, Celsius is growing fivefold, five times faster than Monster. Uh, if you look at those growth numbers, and so it's tra- Monster is trading at eight times. Coca-Cola is trading at a 5.6x. I could have used Pepsi too as a comparison, but I don't want to use Pepsi because Pepsi has a very large snacks business, and it's a, it's a different, it's a di- it's a whole different animal. But but Coca-Cola is, is the biggest soft drink company I can think of, and it is trading at a 5.6. So for a company uh, growing at a 9.7, growing at 79%, a 9.73 is, is really really not that big because you know keep in mind this business 12 months from now will be 80% bigger. Right, and and at another twelve months, maybe it will be a hundred and thirty or one hundred and fifty percent bigger if you compound a seventy nine percent growth with I don't know what if it is sixty five percent growth uh, in twenty twenty five and then fifty five and then forty five. You know, um, the law of large number 
kicks in eventually, but I think it will be likely 10 years before Celsius grows at the speed of a monster beverage. And if you look at monster beverage, it was one of the, one, one of the best stories in investing um, out there. Uh, really, really one of the most outstanding returns. And and, and again, if you look at, at Coca-Cola, if you go back in the very early days of investing in Coca-Cola and Warren Buffett's sprays of Coca-Cola, you also know that Coca-Cola created a lot of value. So there is a, there is a lot of profits to be made in selling quote unquote expensive water, right? Energy drinks, but it's it's quote unquote expensive water. There's a lot of money to be made, right? And especially if you start adding the fact that Celsius has caffeine, so and they all do, right? All energy beverages, a lot of soft drinks have caffeines. Why do they have caffeine in soft drinks? Because it keeps people coming back. People come back to products that have caffeine in them, right? That's Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has 35 milligrams of caffeine. Celsius has a lot of caffeine in it, at 200 milligrams, which actually uh, may, be, may be an impediment to them entering some markets like Canada. But you, we understand why why this product is so praised in the market and why people keep going back to this product, because it's it's very high in caffeine. Um, and that's the nature of a soft drink, of a soft drink business. That's, that's kind of the nature. Anyways, so if you look at the chart, it hasn't really moved in six months. And if you look at, uh, this is November 28 from Nielsen. This is data from Nielsen USA uh, from November 28. And you, we can see the market share in the US is 9.3% right now. And they grew year over year 149%. Um, so at 9.3%, and, and, and Monster is 37, and Red Bull is 33 in terms of energy drink market share in the US. So Celsius 9%, Monster 37, uh, Red Bull 33. The question is, is Celsius going to eat into Monster, going to eat into Red Bull? And I believe so. I believe they will. Uh, the question is, could Celsius say 3x in, in in its U.S. market share? Could could, could they do that? Uh, say within a 10, ten year period? Um, well, that would be a twenty seven percent share. And and in my view, I I believe we, they they will. There's a lot of things to say about Celsius, but Celsius tends to have marketing that is more uh, health-oriented, and they try to put for, forward health, and this is clearly not the reputation of a monster or, for, or a Red Bull. Um, Celsius also tends to be popular among women. Why? Because Celsius is a more gender-neutral type of beverage, and this is clearly not something um, that you may you may say about Monster or Red Bull, which 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 are which are which have a marketing that is more extreme and that is not as consensus oriented. Oh yeah, Celsius is also uh, setting itself as a beverage for any time of the day, from the morning to the evening. Right, a Red Bull or a Monster more as a reputation of not something you would take in the morning, but but rather something you would take in the late afternoon, etc. Uh, age, age two. Celsius tries to cater to all sorts of ages. This is may, may not be something you see from the marketing of a Red Bull or a Monster, right? I mean, typically, if you encounter Monster or Red Bull marketing, it's typically going to be related to sports and, and oftentimes extreme sports, um, not something you see in a Celsius, which is why I think they, 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 has, they have a potential. They have a potential to really uh, increase their US market share. 3x, not unrealistic, maybe, maybe a 4x. And so that becomes very attractive because if they sell that much more, then of course, revenue is going to grow even further as they increase their prices and become the premium product. But of course, the even bigger opportunity when I look at a company like Celsius is international expansion. I mean, France, right now, the end of the holidays, uh, going back to the US end of this week. Anyways, uh, I see Celsius nowhere in France. It's nowhere to be seen, but Monster is everywhere and Red Bull is everywhere. So if we see success in the US, uh, I don't see why we didn't, wouldn't see success in Europe. Um, and they, they, they're just getting started on Europe. They, they really don't have much going on in Europe. And same as Asia. Asia when, In Asia, for, for soft drinks, Asia is a little bit of a different market for soft drinks. But 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 Europe is definitely fair game for any company that's going to be a, a leader in the beverage space. And they're nowhere to be seen in Europe, um, except some of the Nordic, Nordic countries where, where they, they, they've tried to enter. Um, and you can see marketing is a little different in Europe. And they, they they write 200 milligram caffeine in Europe, so uh, it is to believe that, that may, maybe it's it's more of a selling point uh, over there uh, in, in northern northern Europe. But anyways, if you um, 
if you look at the numbers, and, and and this is this is one year old. Keeping keep in mind their revenue trailing twelve month is one point one billion right now. So this is one year old data. But if you look at the breakdown, and and they're kind enough to break it down, and we know that Celsius was not and is not in, in Canada at the moment. Uh, um, so North America is essentially just the USA. You see, you see, it's most of a cell. You know, like ninety five percent of the cells are in the US. Uh, you, uh, international is is meaningless at at thirty million against six hundred million. Um, but international, in my in my view, as they as they expand their leadership in the U.S., international will become a a logical next step for Celsius. And now that they have Pepsi as their beverage distributor, and and they are getting distributed through Pepsi. Pepsi is leading in Europe too. It's the main competitor to Coca-Cola in Europe, just just like it is in the U.S. And so, I I expect that Pepsi will help them roll out the product in Europe as well. And then, if you if you if you do that, um, assuming you get a free X in U.S. market share, you get the same in Europe. That's that, that, that's a that, that's a six to a nine X in in the size of how big this business could get. Because 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 Europe, of course, has a good one hundred and fifty million people more in the U.S. So it's it's a bigger it's a, it's a bigger market as far as the number of consumers uh, living there. And so um, so, anyways, it's all it's all it's all very interesting. Uh, and I, I am looking at the stock. And should I get back in? Well, I'm thinking about it, uh, especially as more and more of my favorite stocks are getting more and more expensive. Uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not trying to chase uh, the, the price of some of my favorite stocks that are getting more and more expensive because because the exposure keeps going up and and this is a stock that I don't have any exposure to and and I I, I would be very compelled to, if it dropped just a little more if we get a five you know a five to ten percent drop I would definitely be compelled to get back into Celsius so. Anyways, this was not investment advice, no financial advice. This is just entertainment. Please like, please subscribe. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.